Have you ever watched a video or been to a conference or been in a meeting where you take a big long chunk of notes and then it just disappears and you never use it again? Or you pull it up sometimes but you have no idea how to reference it or you can't figure out like what everything is about in this note? Well, today I'm gonna to help you solve that in Evernote. What's up guys, Louis here. Yes, we're gonna go back into Evernote today. I'm gonna to show you a technique called progressive summarization. And you can use this with any kind of note-taking system, but I'm gonna show you it with Evernote just because that's my weapon of choice. Uh, and I'm gonna show you it on some Alex Hermosi content that um, I've been taking in. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer. All right guys, we are here in Evernote in my inbox. Let's go ahead and we're gonna use this note right here. So I'm gonna expand this. So this is the content that we are gonna go through today someone sent me a complete breakdown of every single Alex Hermosi piece of content um, through the end of 2022 and all his long form short form broken into text format and it's a little bit of, of a chaotic process but when you pull it out it works really really well so uh, I'm going to show you how I'm breaking this stuff down into things that I can use now I'm not using all of it I'm having to look through different pieces and seeing like, okay, what speaks to me? What can I use? So this could be like a book you've read that you've taken notes on. Again, it could be a conference you've been at, a meeting you've been at, like, you know, a mastermind you're a part of, whatever it is, doesn't matter. It's just the process of taking like a long note like this with a bunch of stuff going on. And then we're gonna extract the really, really important parts so that we can reference it later and figure out if we can use it for something else. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do here um, is you're gonna go and do a first take of the note and you're gonna bold everything that comes to mind, everything that kind of leaps out of the page and speaks to you, we're gonna make it bold, okay? So we'll go through a few paragraphs of this and then I'll go through it more fast forward and we'll get to the next part. So I'm just gonna start reading uh, here and, and bold things um, that, that jump out and speak to me. So uh, if you have to treat you a certain way for you to be happy, then it means your happiness is in their hands. Okay, so maybe I'll just take this sentence right here and I'll just bold that, cool. Uh, I get asked about mindset a lot in podcasts. They're like when you're building a business or you're building a career that are stressors that come into play on how we can manage circumstances or the conditions. So I'm gonna bold this, stressors that come into play, how we manage the circumstances or the conditions. Okay, so this is kind of just what you're doing. You're just bolding things out that either summarize or speak to things or things that are like, cool, yeah. You're kind of getting rid of like the, the add-on knowledge. You're kind of taking all the bullet points from each paragraph or each, each part. So let's do one more. Imagine for a second, two children are playing. One child tells the other, child, your nose is really big or you're fat. Uh, interesting is that the child who hears it is unaffected and the child who says it is unaffected. They're like, you're fat and he's like, huh. Parent comes in and overhears it and she's like, oh my God. Takes the child that was called fat, comforts them, gives them the expectation that they should, that they should be upset and tells the other one that was bad in the moment there for something that is now traumatic that otherwise wouldn't have been so that's a, actually a really cool point you know like <laughs> in our society today especially if people are okay with what's going on other people get outraged <laughs> and then make it a thing that it didn't have to be in the first place so um let's see i'm just going to say it comforts them gives them the expectation that they should be upset Cool. So that's just like a piece of this that's, that's pretty interesting. So you can see what I'm doing here. This first pass, you're just going to go through and you're just going to put in bold all the things that, 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 that stand out to you. There's no number, there's no limit that this should be. Just whatever speaks to you. And then we're going to move on to phase two. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward the video and I'll go through the rest of it and bold it out and then we'll jump in. Okay, so 
Uh, this is a really cool piece of content, actually. Um, I'm going to put the video <laughs> for this uh, 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 Hermosi video right here so you can actually watch it uh, after this or whenever you want. But this is a really, really cool thing. It's all about the perspective of time and, you know, not to feel stressed because if something happened, like, does it really matter in the long term scale of things? Like, probably not. So, you know, shifting your perspective on things can really dictate whether you get stressed out about things or not. So anyway, watch this video. Very, very cool. Um, okay, so I've gone through my first pass, right? And again, get, this isn't something you have to do like instantly with content or whatever. You can do this over time. Like it's not something that I like wake up in the morning. I'm like, okay, I have to progressively summarize the call I was on yesterday. But over time, if I'm just sitting and I have time, then I'll go through a note or two and jump through and do this, okay? So I've, I've bolded everything out. So as far as I'm concerned right now for this next pass, I'm only gonna look at the things in bold. Everything else may as well not be there right now. So the next pass, what I'm gonna do is cut this down even more. So the things in bold, I wanna highlight now the things that are, are really relevant um, to, to what I'm thinking about or this topic or anything that resonates with me. So I'm taking all the bold things, I'm just gonna highlight some of these things to give me more pinpoint accuracy on what I'm taking from this video, okay? So um, all I have to do with this is uh, come through, so I'm just gonna check this out. Uh, I'm gonna highlight this one right here. I'm just gonna, in Evernote, you can come right here. Yellow is typically the best color for highlighting because it stands out everywhere. So I'm just gonna highlight that and I'm just gonna go through these. I'm not gonna bore you with it, but I'm just gonna pick some of these and I'm gonna highlight them, then we'll move on, okay? Here we go. Okay, cool, just like that, we're done. So I've highlighted the things that jump out again and speak to me. You'll see it here actually, there's a bold section that I just highlighted a little bit of it, just because I'm looking for those uh, little points, little quotes that just stand out that I, that I can uh, jump back to here. Okay, cool. So we're, we're, we're into stage three now. So stage three um, is that we're gonna create a summary from this um, passage. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna ignore every single thing apart from the things that are highlighted in yellow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and just kind of look over them and then I'm gonna write a quick summarization at the top of the note. And this means that when I look at notes from conferences or videos or whatever we've talked about already, instead of having to look through everything and read it all, I can come to the top of the note read my little summary of what this is all about and then I can realize okay yep I can use this for this thing or like okay this is what I was looking for or that was that thing that I wanted to reference whatever it is so um, I'm just going to keep the video link at the top here and I'm just going to write summary um, I'm going to go ahead I, I like to click in here change this to a small header oh uh, no you know what let's change this to a medium header well like that and you can write this in paragraphs, you can write it in bullet points, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just going to write and see what happens here. So uh, let's fast forward this. I will write this summary and then we'll wrap up here. just going to come down here and uh, I'm going to put a little uh, divider in here and then we are good to go. So whew, now I've got my summary um, and, and really the summary is kind of my favorite part of it because you really are taking your own concept of what you've just checked out and, and taken you, you from it. But the summary I took of it is here, the ability to look at situations and circumstances is all about our perception. If we zoom out on the current timeline, most of the time we will realize that nothing truly matters as much as we think it does. Because of this, you can actively take the stress off of your life and approach things in a way that most people cannot. I now, uh, I now don't have to choose whether something is good, bad, happy or sad. It's just something that happened or is happening and I can choose to react in it in a manner that stays true to my core values and beliefs. 
boom, that's pretty good. What we're supposed to be doing when we take notes, right? What do we even take notes for? Why do you go to these things and take notes? Why are you on masterminds and take notes? It's to learn, right? And the, the best thing about learning is to share what you learn. You just storing up knowledge for yourself is no good to anyone. You have to share what you learn. So now I don't even have to look at this anymore, all the actual stuff Hermosi said. I can just take what I learned from this passage and then share it. So I might share this on a mastermind. I might share this on a piece of content. I might share this with, you know, um, talking with agents, whatever it is. I might just share it with my kids. Like, hey, this is what I got from this thing I checked out today. And it's really, really cool because now I have a, an actual piece of content that came from me that I was inspired by, but by someone that something else, uh, something that someone else did. So really, really cool. And you can see if I just type in stress or something, or if I want to start tagging this up here, I'll come over here and I'll edit my tags and I'll type in stress. I'll, I'll, you know, we'll do it. Uh, we'll add it to this tag right here. Um, let's type in um, um, perception. Boom. Let's add that tag. Let's type in uh, Hormozy, I think that's how you spell it, um, and type that in, and then I'm going to type summary, boom, like this. So now these tags are here, I can just search for these again and again and again. So anytime that I know that I need to speak on stress, or even if I'm like talking with an agent or talking with someone who's getting stressed out, like hey, I need some advice, I can just go into my notebooks here, and I'm just going to search for here stress what have i learned about this and this will come up here click on it and instead of having to look through this note i can just pull up and be like okay yeah 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 yeah, and then speak i don't have to go through the whole note again you see what i'm saying this process is so powerful especially if you share things with people and this could be for market updates this could be for whatever it is if you're a real estate agent you know but using this to take a big chunk of information and bring it all down to something that you can share and it's actually something that you're speaking to yourself is super duper powerful. So I love this process. You know, it takes a while. It's not like, you know, it's a super quick thing to do, but really what you can do is if you have time on your hands or, you know, if you're like on the toilet <laughs> or you're waiting on something, instead of scrolling on social media, go through one of your notes and start this progressive summarization path. I'm telling you, this is going to be huge. So um, I'm currently going through a bunch of the Hermosi stuff and uh, it's really powerful. Some of it's really cool. Um, and I do this with a ton of calls from Arate, from, you know, Ed Milet, you know, Andy Frisella and all those guys. And I can just come up with my own little summary that I can bring in to help people, help agents, help myself and speak on calls, speak on stage. If ever I need to talk about this certain subject, I can just pull it up and I've got my own little thing that I put out there. So I hope this helps, guys. Hopefully you can put this into practice. It's such an amazing and powerful way to um, to do it and to really be able to share your knowledge of what you've learned from things. So if you have any questions, Questions, comments, drop them below. I'd love to hear about you doing this. If it's books, whatever it is, I'd love to hear what you use this process for. And we will see you on the next one.